We've just arrived at the Askia region of central Iceland. We're coming here to investigate the geology of the area, which includes vast geological landscapes very similar to what you see on Mars. One of the reasons that we come to a place like this is to collect material to help us to study in the laboratory that will help us understand what we see on Mars using remote sensing. That can be materials which contain alteration minerals that we think form on Mars. That can be to study volcanic rocks that exist on Mars. And it's also to collect materials that we can use to test robotics that we send to study other planets. If you take a look at this, this is a pillow and we can see a change in the grain size where some hot lava has come into contact with cold fluid or ice and it started to cool rapidly. In the core you can see it's slightly more coarsely crystalline than it is in the, towards the rim of the pillow. And what we see right here is a transition into the glass. Oh, man. Normally we see pillow lavas in materials that formed on the sea floor, but these would have formed beneath the subglacial lake. Hey, have a look at that. There's some really glassy fragments in there. Clearly this thing's pretty altered. Maybe we ought to take some of this back with us. I've always had an interest in Iceland because of the similarities to geology of other planets, especially Mars. What's evident here is that we don't necessarily understand very well all of the geological processes at play, even on our own planet. 